Hello guys, welcome back to the C1 Engineering YouTube channel. Subscribe our channel for daily C1 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the mechanical properties of the material. Here I have mentioned some mechanical properties of the material and I will define one by one these properties. So the first property of the material, mechanical property we can say of the material is the strength. So strength is the ability of a material, strength is the ability of a material to resist what to resist breaking to resist breaking for example consider this is in a material block and the load acts on this block so what happens it will take the load this block will take the load will take the load until it fractures and it breaks so we call is that this material is now breaks so the a load resistant capability of this material until it breaks we call as the strength of material that this is the strength of material and the strength is usually uh, measured in the KSI K per pound square inches and the unit of uh, it means the force per unit area it is a force and there is the area of the material so the load acting on this material up to the uh, up to when it breaks we call it the strength of material so the force per unit area we call as the strength of material. The second property of the material is the, is the stiffness of the material. It is a little bit different from that of the strength of the material. Strength, stiffness is the ability of material, ability of material to resist deformation, to resist deformation. It is not the strength, it is not the breaking, it is related to the deformation of a material. For example, consider the same block and the load acts on this block. So, the material will now deform upon loading, so it will follow this path. So, we call as the, when this material resists the deformation, the load acts and it resists this deformation, did not to occur this deformation and not to occur this deformation. So this resistance to deformation we call as the stiffness of material. The more the resistance to deformation, the more will be the stiff material. And the less will be the flexible material. And the less the deformation of the material, it means the more stiff is the material and the more deformation, the less stiff is the material. So it is totally related to the deformation of a material. It is the resistance to the deformation. The third property of material we can uh, we can write it here is the hardness of the material. Hardness is the ability of a material ability of material to resist to resist crushing or uh, to resist abrasion. We call this property scratching or the abrasion we call this type of property of the material we call is the hardness that how much it like for example consider uh, any uh, like this is a material and I'm going to slide over this material and how much this material give me abrasion or the scratching phenomena or the scratching ability so this we can say is a hard material if the if my hand goes on slightly over this material we cannot say there is a hard material we can say it's a soft material but more give it abrasion we call is the, the more is the hard material so totally related to the abrasion of the material now coming to the fourth property of material creeping creeping is the gradual is the gradual or the continuous or the continuous deformation of a material continuous or gradual deformation deformation of a material under under constant under constant stress it is the uh, it is the constant it is the continuous it means it uh, the uh, creeping the behavior of the material for example this is in a concrete block and this load acts on this concrete block so it will deform with the time with after 10 or 20 years it will deform like this and this deformation continues with the time upon the constant 
stress on this material so this constant deformation of this material with time uh, we call as the creeping it is the uh, property of concrete usually that it goes uh, deforming uh, with time so we call it the creeping of the material now coming to the last property of the material it is the ductility of the material ductility and ductility is the permanent deformation of a material permanent permanent deformation permanent deformation of a material after it breaks it is a permanent for example consider this is a stress strain graph this is here the stress here is the strain so when the load acts on the body it will follow this path for example this is the steel graph so it will follow this path so it follows this path in the load it, it taken it takes the load and after this it will start the plastic deformation here from this point onwards it is elastic deformation at this point it is the plastic deformation here at this stage so the permanent deformation after this it means the permanent deformation of a material after when it breaks at this point so this property of the material we achieve here we call is the ductility of a material it means the more uh, the more uh, uh, permanent deformation here occur in the material and the more ductile will be the material and uh, inverse of this material is the brittle material the uh, uh, brittle material actually fails at this point it don't goes after the plastic deformation so we call it the brittle material while ductility is the property which it is the permanent deformation of any material and after which it breaks down we call it the ductility of a material this was all about the mechanical properties uh, you can watch more videos uh, and subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video